welcome to this video and we will be looking at the place value, digit value and the expanded form. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand what place value is, what digit value is and how can we write numbers in expanded form. Now, we have got five blocks of tens and two blocks of ones. Now, if we have got five blocks of tens, it means that we have got five tens. And five tens is the same as 50. Then two blocks of ones, it is the same as two. Now, the whole number will be 52. Now let us see how we can write the place values, the digit values, and this number in expanded form. In the number 52, the place value of 2 is 1s, and the place value of 5 is 10s. The digit value now, the digit value of 2 is 2. That's like 2 times 1, which is the same as 2. Now, the digit value of 5 is 50. That is like 5 times 10, which is 50. Now, writing this number in expanded form, it means that we are going to show the digit values of the number 52 using addition sign. So it means that we have got 50 plus 2. So we can see the place values of 52, the digit values of 52, and how we can write the number 52 in expanded form. Let us look at another number. We have got two blocks of hundreds, six blocks of tens, and four blocks of ones. Now, this means that we have got two blocks of hundreds, that is two hundreds, and which means that that is two hundred. Then, six blocks of tens, which is the same as sixty, Four blocks of ones, which is the same as four, and the whole number gonna be two hundred and sixty-four. Now, let us look at the place values, digit values, and the expanded form of this number, two hundred and sixty-four. Now, for the place value, the place value of four is ones the place value of six is a tens the place value of two is hundreds now for the digit value the digit value of four is four that is four ones it's like four times one which is the same as four the digit value of six is sixty and the digit value of 2 is 200. In expanded form, it will be 200 plus 60 plus 4. Now that's our number 264. In the next example, we have got 3 blocks of hundreds three blocks of tens and three blocks of ones. If you like, you can pause the video and try to show the place value, the digit value and the expanded form of the number being shown. Now, since we have got three blocks of hundreds, it means that that number is 300. 
three blocks of tens, it means that we have got 30. Three blocks of ones, then we have got three. And the whole number being shown is 333. Now, let us focus on place value. The place value of the first three is ones, next is tens, next is hundreds. For the digit value, we have got three, thirty, and three hundred. The expanded form of this number, three hundred and thirty-three, is three hundred plus three plus thirty plus three. Now that is our expanded form. Next, we have got two blocks of hundreds and three blocks of ones. This time round, we do not have the blocks of tens. So since we have two blocks of hundreds, then it means that we have got 200. Three blocks of ones, it means that we have got three. And the whole number being shown is 203. The place value of three is ones, the place value of zero is tens, and the place value of two is hundreds. For the digit value, the digit value of three is three, the digit value of zero is zero, and the digit value of two is 200. Now for the expanded form, we have got 200 plus three. So our whole number is 203. And the expanded form is 200 plus 3. Now, from what we have learned, let us try to answer these questions. You can pause the video and think about the place value of each digit in our number 732. The the place value of 2 is 1s, the place value of 3 is 10s, and the place value of 7 is 100s. In number 2, we need to know what is the place value of 4 in the number 649. Now you can realize that the place value of 9 is 1s. And of course, the place value of 4 is 10s. In part 3, we want to write the digit value of each digit. You need also note that sometimes digit value can also be called simply value. If I talk about value, it means that I mean digit value. Now, we have got a number 732 and we are interested in knowing the digit value of each digit. So, the digit value of 2 is 2, the digit value of 3 is 30 and the digit value of 7 is 700. Part 4, we want to know what is the digit value of 1 in 184. Now, in this number, we can see that the digit value of 1 is 100. In part 4, we need to write the following numbers in expanded form. The first number is 851 and this is 800 plus 50 
plus 1. The next number is 407. And this is 400 plus 7. I believe right now you can be able to confidently differentiate between the place value, the digit value, and you can write the numbers in expanded form. 